two penguins in the penguin house were a little bit different. One was named Roy, the other was named Silo. Roy and Silo were both boys. They look the same. They do look the same. You know that our family's like that, don't you? Because we've got who we got? Um, we've got Benny, my brother. He's <laughs> now your brother, isn't he? Yeah. We try to sort of sit down and explain it to her in simple terms. Ah. You know, obviously that it, it was Deanna. She knew her as Deanna as a sister. And then sort of said later on, it's not, Benny's going to be your brother now. And I think because she's quite sort of, as you can see, she's quite blase out of everything. She just, yeah, that's fine. Oh. They didn't spend much time with the girl penguins. And the girl penguins didn't spend much time with them. Instead, Roy and Silo wound their necks round each other. Their keeper, Mr. Gramsci, noticed the two penguins and thought to himself, they must be in love. I, I wish they'd do more along the line, perhaps like with the bisexual side of it and the transgender and stuff like that to sort of help explain it to families that have got younger children that are going through that change and, and everything to sort of help explain it a bit more. Crack! 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 Out came their very own baby. She had fuzzy white feathers and a funny black beak. Now Roy and Silo were fathers. We'll call her Tango. Mr. Gramsci decided because it takes two to make a Tango. Are oh, they happy they got the baby? Do you think you would be happy? Do you think it would be the same if they had two mummy penguins as well? <laughs> yeah, it's you're... giving kids and young children the opportunity to see that there is difference out there. You know, even even like with the, the zookeeper could see that, you know, you've got two male penguins, they want to have a baby. You know, and it's just, again, it's showing that there is people that are accepting of it all. I think it's really good. Mm -hmm.